Full access. Weird. Okay, well, I did buy a microphone, so let's see if the content's a little less echoey, a little better. Uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet today. Had a good workout this morning. I worked out uh, with one of my friends. Hit some back. Felt pretty good. It's a, it's a good day. Uh, didn't sleep very well last night. That's okay. Happens. I'm probably stressed because I know that my main goal today is to write a life plan. So, fuck it. You know, what are you going to do? Like, sometimes you fall asleep at 4 a.m., you get up at 8, and you meet your buddy, and you go lift some weights and pretend that you're awake and, <laughs> and do the stuff that you have to do. Because that's kind of why I like to, I'm going to go on a little tangent here. That's why I like to do the workouts in the morning. It does kind of wake me up. And if I work out, that's one of my non-negotiables. If I do the other things that I do, like write down my goals, stuff like that, that's what's important to me. So I don't know why I keep looking away. I think, uh, I think we're good there. But yeah, today I'm going to talk about goals. Um, I'm just going to go over it a little bit. On the whiteboard, I ordered a second one. Whiteboard, I mean, because... I like to track my shit on one, but I realized that one of the things I don't like when I've seen other people be kind of like self-help uh, people or, I don't know, what's the word for it, life coaches, maybe? I don't really know if I'd go that far to claim claim that title for myself. I think what I'm doing here is figuring it out for me and then uh, trying to build a community and talk to people about it and figure it out for everybody. So... Why did I say that? Bought a second whiteboard so I can stand there and when I'm talking, I can actually write stuff down because I fucking hate it when I see these videos and no one's doing it. Like, you have a fucking whiteboard, you're talking about setting goals, talking about bettering yourself. Like, me writing down my goals is fine, but like, what if I was sitting there and I was writing funny stuff on the whiteboard behind me? You know? I think that's way better. That's what I'm going to do. Uh... Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, I think that's it, you know, as far as this little intro video goes. Talking about goals today, I got to do a life plan, read a book called Living Forward, it talked about how living with intent, and it's like, you know, it's been a while, I think everybody needs to figure out what their why is, and I'm kind of happy that I think I know what mine is, I don't think I know, so, boop. I think uh, this one will be quick. But it it has a pretty good overall point. I feel like I've talked about this a decent amount. I also haven't even listened to how this microphone sounds, so hopefully it sounds pretty good. Hopefully it's actually recording. If not, well, I guess I'll just re-record all of this and or use the shitty sound that's coming out of my phone mic. But I think I set it up right. Uh, okay, why do we why do we give a shit about goals? How do I make goals? Why is this important? Who gives a shit? Why do we care? Well, I mean, for me, being stuck, stuck, sucks. I was stuck for years before I ever got to a point where I thought it was a good idea to record myself in athletic wear and try to act like a life coach. However, I will say that when you get to this point, there's kind of something that happens when you are stuck and you start to think that you want to do things. Like you realize like maybe you have a problem. There's a whole mental diagram of like you're not aware, you become aware, you want to take action, and then you take action, and then you change the behavior. I don't don't remember it 100%. You know, maybe maybe if I want to pretend to be smart, I'll look that up sometime and I'll draw a nice diagram for you. But basically, once you get to the point where you're like, I'm... Um, Trying to change. Like when this happens, stuff starts going off in your brain. If it's like, man, I'm fat. I should like diet. Or man, I really wanted to learn how to code and I never did that. Man, I really wish I had a bachelor's degree. Man, I wish I had a GED. Man, I wish I didn't wake up and immediately play video games for 12 hours. Or whatever. I don't. You know what I mean? There's probably a fucking laundry 
list of reasons that we could like think of. But like once that starts to happen, there's like a scary place that you get to where you're stuck. And I'm just gonna, this is fun for me because now I'm actually like using it. It looks like stuk, but I'm stuck and I don't know what to do. Like that's where the whole goal setting comes in. And I, when I was fucking around and like making these videos at first, it was kind of funny because I'm just rambling. Like there's no actual structure or point. And now I'm really happy because I don't know talked about epiphanies yesterday and today I'm talking about goal setting and it seems like I'm figuring out a cadence so I kind of want to use that as an example of how that can be indicative of like what happens when you start to like write stuff down like when you start making progress and you maybe we're starting from square one we don't do anything we don't you know we, we feel like pieces of garbage we don't even look at ourselves in the mirror. Can't even make eye contact with people. Whatever. That sucks. Been there. Not fun. Real shitty. <laughs> I laugh because it makes me uncomfortable to think about. There was a point where going to the grocery store was an absolute nightmare. So, uh, where? I, why am I talking about this? Where am I? Where am I going with this? It. The scary place when you're stuck is when you have the idea, but you don't know how to take action. Goals. So. That's why I made the comment, or I've made the comment in other videos. No, I'm not trying to be a uh, original content creator who plugs, go watch video one. Like, nah, this is, this is gonna be a pretty dynamic interaction every day. I don't, <laughs> whatever, if you will, like, I'm not even gonna keep talking about that. It's a waste of time. Something happens in your brain, I don't know. Like, maybe there's a Huberman podcast on this or something, but essentially, like, something happens in your brain when you, Say you do want to do something and you achieve it. Like there's something good that happens. Like it's almost, God, I really wish I had a better way to talk about it, but it's like, imagine if you, I don't even know what to write down. Like you, if you say you're not gonna, let's say you're, you say you're gonna work out, but you never go. Every day you say you're gonna work out and you don't go, it's like this compounding interest against yourself where you don't trust yourself. And I think it's a fancy term called cognitive dissonance, where you say you'll do something, but you can't follow through. Uh, that sucks if you can't do that for yourself because that probably means that you won't be able to do it for your family, for your relationships, your jobs, whatever those are, anything. And I've, I've lived that firsthand. I didn't do it in relationships. I didn't do it with my friends. I didn't talk to my family. I didn't have any goals. I basically just showed up for work and that was it. So with that being said, when you're in that point and you wanna make a change, one of the simplest ways I think, like I don't go buy a $200 whiteboard unless you think it'll help you, like whatever. Luckily I was able to buy this. Like get a piece of fucking paper and literally just write down anything and we can we can be difficult about this and be like well if I just write down anything like why do I care like blah, 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 blah. it doesn't matter the fact that you even it's about building momentum if you know you want to change and you actually take time to go grab I don't even fucking care if it's a piece of construction paper that you found in a drawer that you haven't looked in it six months because you haven't cleaned your apartment in two years. I don't care. Legitimately, grab that piece of construction paper, grab the Crayola crayon <laughs> that you found, and just write down three things that will make me feel better if I do this today. That's it. I got in trouble so many times in the past that I almost decade at this point, maybe like eight years where Big lofty goals. I'm gonna change everything all at once. And I fizzled out so many times, did stuff for the wrong reasons and we don't have to talk about that. Write down three stupid fucking things that if you do it today, it'll make you feel better. That's why usually right here, and I have a picture. You know, I took a picture of my goals before I erased this to use this for this demonstration. And actually, I don't know. I like this better. Ba ba ba. I'm gonna hang the other whiteboard later. I'll write the goals down. We'll be ready tomorrow. It's gonna be good. If you're writing down anything and you complete just three stupid fucking things, maybe your dishes are full in the sink. Maybe you 
I don't know, you want to open a book and read the introduction. Or maybe you have a homework assignment you need to fucking do. I don't know. Whatever it is. Maybe you need to actually go to work and not fake sick. Whatever. Write it down. Because something's going to happen when you grab the piece of paper. And something's going to happen when you write something down. And something's going to happen when maybe you say, okay. (sighs) And you go clean the dishes that have been in the sink for God knows how long. And you do it. You're going to feel good. Like you're going to feel really fucking good. Because you're going to go, check. And your brain's going to be like, oh, shit. I just did something I said I was going to do. And don't expect a miracle all at once because it takes fucking time. But then you do the next thing. And then you complete your list for the day. So then go back to fucking off. If you catch the momentum and if you're kind of like me, maybe you'll kind of snowball, do a couple more things. But eventually you'll start to get to this point where you're making these lists. And you're setting these goals, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, life, you know, like I plan to today after I get done recording this. You start to feel good and you also start to know how much you can do in a day. And then you get to figure out, can I push myself a little bit more and can I do more without having a negative effect on my mental health or my relationships? And you get to start to see where all this other crap which is probably the worst term I could have used. Other, all these other things come into play about, you know, you hear about a balanced life and there's a bunch of people pumping, grind mindset, work hard, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, you got to work hard, but, you know, if you're going to work 20, 20 hours a day, like, if you can sustain it, kudos to you. Like, I, you know, there are days I can push myself and I can get a lot of fucking shit done in 16 hours, 20 hours, slept four hours. And then sometimes I have days where, I do shit for five hours and I'm like, today is like, write a life plan, record the videos. I got to do some, I want to learn Spanish, talk about it every day. Like, got to do some shit for that. That's it. I can tell. I slept four hours. I don't care. And maybe I'll get some momentum and I'll pick it up. But what's important is understanding that, well, I wrote that stuff down and I did it. So I'm better than yesterday. I'm still working towards my goals and I'm still moving forward like that is what is important it's the momentum of knowing and seeing it it works for me and i think it could work for anybody like i think if you could just legitimately like if you're really stuck just hold on to like that idea just knowing that it's going to take time and learning to be patient and understanding that like something's going to turn over in your head once you start to pick up a little bit of momentum and it's going to feel really good then you're going to have confidence and then maybe Going to Walmart's going to be a little less scary because that's what happened to me. I was like, I can go buy groceries. I'm probably not going to have a panic attack. And that'll be fine. And it'll be okay. (laughs) It seems silly, but I really think it works. But uh, yeah, I guess the, the last idea of it, you know, goal setting is achieving them, getting to a point where you're actually achieving the goals, builds, mow, Men Tom Boy, when you're stuck and all of a sudden you start moving, best feeling in the world. Cause if you can keep moving, who fucking knows? Maybe you start to listen to yourself a little bit more and then start to think about life goals and you start to actually plan and you can start to get there. It's probably not gonna happen day one. If it happens day five, incredible. If it doesn't, just keep doing it. I'm on year, I don't even know, 2017. Could probably throw the COVID ones in the trash, but I learned a lot there too. I don't know. 2017 is when I kind of started my own personal growth journey, so it takes a while. And maybe it just depends how far how far off you are. Or a lot of other stuff that I don't really need to ramble about. You get to a point where you don't want to be stuck. You want to change. Ride down anything that's going to get you going. Build a little fucking momentum. Take off. Hopefully that cloud's not too loud in the edit. That's it. I'm out. Probably revisit the life plan later.